going on today guys? Tom here. And this is not my natural place to do an unboxing, but I had the chance to. I'm down at the shore, I'm down by the ocean, and what's a better place for the background to be basically shitty weather. So, let's get down to the point. I got my other Mystery Taco Box Pro. I'm going to get right into it. We're going to show you what we got. I did open it already. As you can tell, it's open. And um, I'm just going to take out all the baits. Let's get to it. I do have a repeating bait. I'll explain, I'll explain how that happened in a second. And then there's that, and then that, and then that stuff. So, you guys know the box. It's a box. Alright guys, first off, before I get into any of this stuff, if you guys are new and you guys are looking at the video, please go like and comment. Please let me know what baits you've used. And if not, if you guys like what you see, please just always subscribe to me. Always new videos are always coming out. I'm actually catching up on a lot of videos right now because I have a lot of work to do. But um, other than that, let's get right into it. But make sure you subscribe. I will know if you subscribe. So, I hope you guys do. Alright, let's get into it. I'm just lay out all these. One, two, where I counted that so wrong. And then I got papers and papers and papers and papers and then the phone I don't need that can phone, phone's going in the box. There we go. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so let's put it this way. I had a I got this bait in my last box, I believe. I think so. It's the Western Swim bait. The bait's awesome. I tested it in the water. I'll put a video of that sooner or later when it starts getting warmer out. But right now, as you guys can tell, it's pretty bad out. I actually lost power, so I'm hoping I have enough battery power to make this video. And um, yeah, so this is my situation right now. But, all right, so I have a repeating bait that actually Mr. Tackle Box gave me. So that's just gonna go on the side. If you guys wanna know about that bait, go check them out. Go check out my last video, it's right there. Also leave a description below. And, all right, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna, I have the prices here, of course, and um, we'll get into it. But if you guys do want to know, this is a $14 bait. It says it right there. It says it right at the top. But it is $14. Again, no about it going to the video. But I figured I'd tell you the price if you guys were to know how much it was. All right, so right now I have some soft plastics, a square bill, a, I don't even know what kind of bait this is. We'll get into that in a second. I do have five... Number five, flute cooks. Another jerk bait. And a spinning bait. So, let's get into it. I'll tell you what everything is, how they are, and we'll see how it goes from there. So right now, first one we got, we got the Eli Z-Tech. So this is a soft plastic bait. Again, if you guys saw my, if you guys go check out my last video, I, I went on about how they these soft plastic baits always give you like this giant package with like little teeny tiny baits in it. Or like so few that you're, it's if it rips you're screwed. But um, look, can you just, can you just look at this? You got this bait right here, and then you have this pack with nothing on it. Just telling about the bait. Like, why do you need that? The bait's here, the package is here, but you have this extra flap of just information that. No, no offense to the companies. I love these companies. I really do. They make really good baits. But why, why make yourself go through all this trouble? I'm not gonna read it. I know what to do with it. I'm not going to read it, but let's just get into it. All right, so we do have Eli Z Tech. They are zoom. They look like Zoom Super Flukes. They have the same rib body. They have the hook placement in the center. They have a beautiful shad color. It's like a nice dark gray on the top with a couple of blue and silver sparkles in it. I smell really nothing on it, but let's see. Is there a scent on these? Is there a scent? It says catch more fish per bait. Smoky Shad, there's no scent. Uh, yeah, all right. So there's no, there's no, um, there's no scent to it that I can see. So we'll get into that. Next we got here, we have the Bagley, Bagley Square Bill right here. Let's see how deep can this dive. This is a MTV exclusive bait. I'm very happy about that. And let's see how far can it go. Do, 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 do. Oh, it runs about three to four feet deep. Right, so that's pretty cool. I love the color on that. It's got like that nice chartreuse yellow on it, some black and orange on the bottom. So I'm going to be using that also. It's going to hit a lot of... I live in northern New Jersey. So um, this might actually catch a lot of fish up there in the summer. 
We'll leave this one for last because it's pretty weird looking, but it's pretty interesting at the same time. And then, of course, we'll go to the simple. We've got a regular spinning bait. So, we all know what these are. I mean, I don't really need to go into too much depth with that. And then, um, we'll go into this after. We'll do the, um, we got two, number five, size four aught, flue cooks. They say that the model F, but I don't really know what the model really means, but they are weighted at the tip, so it's going to be very, very useful for me with some Zoom Super Flukes. Next, I really like, I wanted to save this one for last. I do, just caught my eye. It comes with a paper sleeve on top. And it's this crazy, beautiful pearl white jerk bait that is pretty interesting, actually. I, I actually kind of like it. So it's, um, correct me if I'm wrong, pursues 110. Suspending jerk bait, 110 millimeter with a half ounce. Who makes this one? Armed with VMF. I don't know what that means. Who, who makes this bait? What is this? Jenko. Jenko makes this bait. Jenko Fishing Company. So, we'll get more into this, but it actually, I like the look of it. It's a three hook design. One in the middle, two in the, one in the front, one in the back. But it looks like a beautiful color to catch some fish. Even if you're in some dark water, maybe like that milky brown and like chocolate milk color. Maybe a little bit of green color water. It might actually do really well with that. But um, this, might be a, this might be a bait that's going to stay in my taco box. I do like it. So, Alright, so let me give you guys a closer look. And then we'll go from 1 through, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so 1 through 6, because you guys already seen this one. So 1 through 6 of my number 1 to the least one that I'm probably going to use. So, um, yeah, we'll get into that. Let's get right to it. So let's do my number one. This is the jerk bait. I really actually like the color of this. It's like a nice pearl color. Let's take it off for you guys so you guys can actually see it. Let's get this out. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's all nice and tied up. That's great. All right, so I do have this nice, beautiful white pearl. It's actually really, really, really nice. Let's see if I can get that to focus on you guys. Come on. Focus. There we go. Look at that. That is actually very nice. It's got a nice red body. It's really textured. Not too sharp of hooks. I might have to change those out. Either that or I just can't feel it. But um, I really like it. Again, this is actually made by Jenko. If you guys can check that out. Jenko right there. Jenko Fishing. And this is, the con this is actually where it came in. It gave you a lot of information on the back. If you guys want to check that out. But I think this is probably going to be my number one bait using this year for a jerk bait. Because I just, in New Jersey, the waters are just really not the cleanest. So anything with a bright color is actually going to catch you any fish. So I do like this a lot. Thank you, Mystery Tackle Box, for sending that. That's going to be my number one. Probably my number two is probably going to be the MTB Exclusive Bait. This is actually very nice. I'm so happy they sent me this. So let's, let's get into this really quick. So I slide you out. Perfect. So this is an MTB exclusive, and you need to know that because it actually says it right there. Ha, I'm smart, but um, I do actually. I actually was looking at a bait like this a couple days ago and thinking about getting one, but I'm happy I got it in this box. So this is the Sartouche yellow I liked. It has a black. It's no textured. It's nice and flat. Big bill on the front. That's. It's actually really flexible. I like that. You can. It probably won't break as easy. Ooh, these hooks are. These hooks are sharp. So. I do like this a lot. This nice orange color is going to attract a lot from below. But um, it's probably, this is probably going to be my number two. I'm not going to get too far into it because everyone really knows what a square bill is. But I very, very much like this one. It's actually it's actually really well made. I like that. So this is going to be my number two. Put this back in the package so nothing gets damaged. Perfect. That's my number two. All right, so let's make sure nothing gets lost. Make sure it looks all nice. Nice and pretty. Perfect. Number two. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna, probably going to go with... Probably going to go with these next. So these are the... I don't know, I usually say Eli, or Eli, Elazy, Elazy Tech, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people say different things. I've seen people call it Z Tech. I guess, it's a bait to bait. But this is what I'm talking about. They have 
the package is here, the Ziploc part is here, but why all this extra nothing? Like, give me some extra, you can put some extra baits in here. That'd be really, I'd be really happy if somebody gave me some extra baits in the extra pack like that. So it'd come in like two. Oh look, double, double for one. Two for one right there. But these are, these are the jerk shads. Smoky shad color. Like I said, they are, they are non-scented. But they do have a lot of color to them. They're nice and, they're actually like really soft. Look at that. I can like squish that down like completely. Let's see if I can focus that. Look how, I can, look at that. How ins look at that. I've never seen a bait able to stretch like that and keep its form. Like, it's like jelly. It literally feels like just jelly. Like, I can squish it. Like, like it's coming through my fingers. That's insane. I never felt a bait that textured like that, but I actually do like the baits. They're almost like Zoom Super Flukes. They do have a gill and eye representation here. You can actually feel it when you go through the front. But they do have the hook, the hook slot for it, which is very nice. But um, these will probably catch a lot of fish, but probably in like a nice clear water day. Because, not much, because like I said, Jersey's pretty dirty and not much. They usually go for like the, the Zoom Super Fluke, the Pearl White, and then the um, Pearl White with the Sartreuse Yellow Tail. They usually hit that a lot. But I do like these. These are probably going to be my number three, most likely. But I do like them a lot. Like I said, I need, I need two for one if you're going to do a package like this. But I do like it. That's my number three. So let's put that right over there. Next, we'll probably... Oh, I'm trying to think here. It's a really close call about what I'm going to do with this right now. Um, I might change it at the end. But I might... I don't know. This is the bait I want to, I want to see what it is. This is the Strike Pro... Casting into the future. I don't know if I cast this. I don't know how far this thing is actually going to fly. So I don't know how far in the future it's going to bring me. But let's let's get into it. Alright, so this comes in a little package here. Oops, it popped out. Wow, it's heavy. Oh my god, the whole thing's weighted. So i actually never seen a bait like this before. It's super tiny. If you want to compare that to my hand. It's got these super tiny hooks. Like... Probably about maybe an inch and a half, inch and a half long. But I'm gonna try to get a nice closer look for you guys, so you guys can get a good. So, say right about maybe there. So it is a black body with a silver bottom with some sparkles in it, and then it has orange and red at the bottom. But it has like a tiny, like look how tiny that treble hook is. Like this is my fingernail. It's the size of my fingernail. You got a hook in the front, a hook in the back, and this weird fin taped triangular tail that's on the back. I've never seen a bait like this. I'm not sure what it's really used for or what it's going to catch. But I know you put the line through there. I'm that smart. I can know where to put the line through. But it's it's kind of different. I've never seen anything really like this. But um, the one thing I really had to disagree with this. I don't like this. If you look close, there's an opening in between that. So if you get a fish that's strong enough that just bite this somehow or get snagged on something with this hook, it might either pry that out or bend it where this is just going to rip right off. Like you're just gonna, that little opening is just going to fold over and it's going to go pop. So that's the only feature I'm really worried about with this. But overall, cool looking bait. Cool, tiny bait, different. I'll have to try it. This will probably be a review on itself sooner or later but we're gonna we'll test that in the summer because actually this might be a nice spawning get some tiny bass to bite on this we can do that nice tiny bass bait or bluegill whatever you want to use it for but not sure yet so let's put this back in the package let's see what's it say on the back the secret weapon the strike pro lures have been the choice of many anglers around the world da 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 for men recreational anger oh here Lear does, the Lure Design Strike Pro has been producing producing a high quality since 1973. I don't need to know about that. Strike Pro is going to test it before it goes into print. Alright, so I really don't know anything really much about this bait besides I cast it and try to reel it in. So um, it says tournament grade. It's superior quality. So we can get into that on its own review. If you guys want to see a review on this bait, 
let me know because I've never seen a bait like this. I'm not sure many people have done a review on it. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see what this bait does and what kind of fish it catches. So let me down, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see that. And we'll get right to that. Right, make sure that's all good. That will probably be four or five. And then I'm gonna go right to the my little fluke hook, my fluke hooks. It's with the Superman logo in the background, which is actually kind of cool. So I don't know who makes these. These are called penetration penetration hooks. So five bites to go. All right. So not really sure what to expect out of this, but I'm gonna open it up so you guys can get a closer look. It does come in a two pack. They do seem weighted. I'm not really sure if they are or not. No, 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 they are not weighted, but... So there's an interesting key factor here with this. So with these hooks, they are called the penetration penetration hooks. So they're... Let's see if I can get it. 10 inch monster, 10... 10 inch power, Senko, mag, mag trick, blah, 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 blah. okay. So, I do, this is the only key feature I do like about these hooks. I'm gonna see if I can get a clearer picture on this. They are very sharp, you can see the barb on it. But if you see really close at this black piece right here, if you put a zoom super fluke on there and usually you bring it right to the top of the hook and then cover the hook, the, um, the eye of the hook right there, you can actually pull back and it will probably lock the bait onto it through those teeth right there. Let's see if I can get it again. So those two teeth, they're pretty flexible. They'll dig into the soft plastic and make sure when you're jerking and everything, it won't rip off completely. It'll nice, be nicely gripped to it. And then you, obviously you just place this right at the top to the, the back of the body. But I do like the design of this. I will be using these. So probably, probably four or five. We'll see at the end what I want to do with that. So let's put these back in. Like I said, these guys are four aughts. Come on, get back in there. All right, so these teeth are actually making it pretty hard to get back in. All right. All right. So I got two hooks of the penetration hooks. Four or five, it's pretty pretty good to bait with those. And then I'm not gonna get much into this. It's a regular spinning bait with this one. This is the Catch Co Pro Series Tournament. Oh, tournament grade fishing tackle. This is called the mustard hook. Um, I'll open it up just to give you guys a better, better look at it. I mean, we all know what a spinning bait looks like, but I feel bad if I didn't show you guys. Be like that one person that's looking for this bait and see, oh, what is it? I want to see it. And then all of a sudden it's like, all right, he didn't show it. <laughs> all right, so it's, it's all tangled up here. So it is attached to this paper. There we go. All right, so it is stapled. At the top, as you can see, if you can see. So it is stapled here, pretty easy to get out. But um, it looks like a regular spinning bait. Pretty, pretty thin, pretty thin um, re reflection on this. It's really, it's pretty flimsy right there. But I can, I can bend that so easily. So try not to get snagged probably on a lot of things if you, are, if it's possible to. So you do have the one hook design. Probably put a nice trailer on that. It does have the teeth for it and the grip right there on the end. But um, overall, it's a regular spinning bait. Not much really to get into it. But um, the weight of it is a 3 8 ounce. So it's... Oh, here's another key feature. The top one is gold. The bottom one is silver. I just noticed that when I put it into the light over here. Gold and silver, so... All right. Might be interesting, but I'm probably... I have a couple spinners. They're not too good unless you're on a major lake up here in jersey or anywhere else on the around the country so i think i'm just going to add this one to like my last one because i'm really going to use spinners especially ones like this but we'll get into that in a little bit so we'll just put that back right back into the case if it works is it gonna work this is so hard might as well just leave it out Nah, there we go. There you go. Looks like it never was used. To, uh, yeah, it does. Nope, looks like it's perfect. Never been opened. All right, guys. So, going to be my number one with the jerk bait. My number two with the square bill. Number three, the... 
I'm just gonna call them the Z-Tech, the Z-Tech Flukes. Pretty close call between that and the hooks because I do use flukes. I really want to try this bait, so maybe I would probably leave it like that. And then probably my fifth one, like I just said, I'm not gonna use that much, is the is right here. So it's gonna go jerk bait, square bill, easy tech, or the Z Tech, sorry, the the strike pro, the penetration hooks, and then right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the up close view of this. It was a nice quick review. I hope we made it pretty interesting and give you guys enough information. But if you guys want to see any reviews on these specific baits, can't talk, um, let me know in the comments below. If I can reach 10 likes on this, I'll keep doing the unboxing videos because um, some people do like them. I get private, I get other messages saying, oh, keep doing them. How's this bait? How's that bait? Um, people ask me, oh, how do they work? What Have you caught any fish on it? So if you guys want to know anything about it, just... Easily just message me, comment down below. I answer to everyone. At least I try to. If there's a few, I can get to everyone. If there's a lot, probably not. But like I said, if you guys like these baits, hit the subscribe button and we'll get to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just waiting here for the weather to get warmer because there's a pond nearby and I'm really trying to go out and fish. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like all the baits that I got in my mystery tackle box this time. And hopefully you guys want to go out and check them out. I'm going to leave all the descriptions of the baits and where to get them down below. So I hope you guys will go check that out. And hope you guys subscribe. There's more than 100 views on the video. I'm hoping somebody's going to hit the subscribe button for me. My milestone for 2019 is to hit 100 subscribers. So if you guys want to help me do that, that would be greatly appreciated. And let, me know and let me know down in the comments of what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong so I can correct my stuff. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay on top. There you go. So say goodbye to the average life and hello to the bass fishing world. He put everything that he had on the line. Let's just say he was so for real. Some thought his overreaction to catching fish was kind of overkill. Break dancing in the bow with the boat when the only dance that they known was Bill. Yeah. Add that to the flat brim cap and the lack of the classic bass fishing accent. Max with the tats, put a flag in his back at the classic. Caught flag from fanatics, had in a marriage, collapsed to the madness. Cap with a pattern of bad days of practice. Yeah, what you had was an angler. Hanging by two pound test, the hair away from snapping. Come on.